One of the pleasures I have in my job is that I consider it sometimes a, a toy, a hobby, instead of work. For example, I'm doing this experiment here, planted deep water culture, planted NFT, and I had some extra plants. And I had extra media. And I had this toy, like a vertical tower. And I said, let me plant it. So in half hour, I got the media, <coughs> filled them, added them here, added the fertilizer at the bottom, turned it on, and now it's dripping. And how does this work? You have a pump at the bottom, and the pump pushes the water all the way to here, and that drips to here, and then this pot drips to this pot, you see it there, and this pot drips, and all the way back, you see it dripping now to here, and then to here, and then back to the tank. So it's a recirculating system, no different than the NFT system here that I talked about in the past, but briefly, here's the tank. The tank pushes the water on that end, the water rolls down inside the pipe, comes out here on this end, and it returns, the solution returns to the tank. So it's a recirculating system. So this tiny little hobby vertical tower is great. I have extra bok choy. You can plant in it all kind of herbs, leafy green, even tomato plants in the spring. And uh, you know, you put one, one plant in any, in, one of these four corners. And it's running all the time and that media continues to stay moist and they'll do fine. Now, if you were to grow a cucumber, a trailing that's gonna fall down, I wouldn't fill it all. You have five layers for each. I wouldn't fill it with 20 plants. It would be a jungle. Uh, so maybe, four plants on, on the top pot and leave the rest empty so it can trail and fill everywhere. But with the bok choy that I have, I'm gonna fill it all with bok choy and we'll watch videos, uh, follow-up videos uh, next time. And here is the system after it's got planted. 20 plants, bok choy. Right now, I'm not using the timer, but the kit came with the timer. Um, and I will install it uh, shortly. Right now it's running continuously. Uh, I'm going to run it continuously for a couple of days because I just moistened this media that I was having just to guarantee that it gets really moist. And then I'll set a timer and more than likely a, um, I don't know, like an hour on and uh, two hours off something like that and this is an update on the vertical tower and this is the first time i'm using it it's set on a timer and the soil is moist so that's good plants are doing well i just hope they had a little bit more light this corner of the greenhouse doesn't get a lot of light so maybe i'll move it over there so let's take a look here on how the deep water culture are doing. Remember, deep water culture is when you have a depth of water. In this case, about four or five inches. That's the minimum you want. And the plants are floating in the water and they are alive and they do well because you add an air stone to keep bubbling air. So the root stone rot. And this is the NFT. We have two kinds of lettuce and a pak choy, and they are doing well. They are doing well. They should do well because we're supplying them with the nutrients. We're supplying them with the correct temperature. And uh, free of pests or diseases so they definitely should do well hydroponic is easy if you meet the requirements of the plant the right temperature avoid pests and diseases 
good nutrient recipe and make sure nothing breaks and uh, everything is running perfectly and the plants will do well. I watch videos where people complain what's wrong, what went wrong, and I've never had any issues. Maybe I've done it so long and so many times that it's instinctive and nothing fails. But be patient, pay attention to the plant, check them every day, and one day you will reach a stage where you can do it with your, with your eyes closed. Have fun.